Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the Swamps of Dredge. Today, we're going to get out and hopefully kill the rest of these massive monster creatures. I believe we needed one more eel, if I remember correctly. Uh, and I believe those only come at night, so I'm actually going to chill here. Because, yes, we got one long fin eel. We need the other one, and then we have the bait done for the final trap. And I also need some sort of catfish... Uh, that we haven't found yet, I don't believe, for the second one. So if we can find those two, that'd be great. Uh, then this airman can leave in peace, because he just wants to get revenge right now. All right, and if I am correct, I believe the eel was right here at nighttime. So how convenient, and indeed it is. All right, and there we go. It's as simple as that. We should have the bait for the final trap. I don't know if we can do the final one before the second one. Let's talk about baiting the traps. The last one... And we can use any of these, right? Perfect. That should do it. I'll just mix these in here. Load this into a trap. Then we'll get clear from it. So yeah, we can do this one at any time. Perfect. All right. Now we just need to find that massive catfish and uh, see if we can pull that thing up. It actually, I think if we open my encyclopedia, do we get an outline? Okay, we do. This is definitely it right here. Um, This is the catfish that I need. So that's from this area and we can either rod or trawl it. Uh, It doesn't say what type it is though, does it? All right, but the big clue is we do know it's nighttime thanks to this. So at least uh, we do know that. So we need to come out here at night to find it. Uh, so yeah, for today, I just uh, slept throughout the whole night. We may as well go try and trap that massive monster with the one bait that we have. And then tomorrow night, hopefully we can find that massive catfish somewhere around here. Oh, would you look at that? I found... Uh, man, maybe I should have sold some of my uh, <laughs> fish. I found uh, a random wreck once again. I do have enough space for these, so perfect. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to go sell some of this stuff, though. I'm trying to find where we bait the guys, and I don't actually know specifically where it is, so... Might take a while, but we'll definitely find it. Okay, there's one here. I believe this is one we haven't baited, because they do destroy themselves. So, load this trap with bait. And now we try and find... Oh, he's right here. Jesus. So, do they just automatically go to it when there's bait there? I, th I thought I actually had to lead them. Alright, there is the second one gone. In a second here, there we go. That's always so savage. All right, so now we just got to find that catfish. But before that, we need to sell this stuff. So let's go over to the rickety pontoon and hopefully earn some money. Ooh, what the hell? I decided to just randomly go for these things because usually they, they don't do anything. This one, a crooked boulder with a small, simple platform at its base. The twisted shape of a deformed fish is barely recognizable, carved into the rock face. Huh, I wonder if I can get any of the mutant fish if we put them in here if something will happen. Um, all right. Well, we'll have to try and take a mental note of this place, which is right by the camp. And that's the first one where I can put something down. So that's really interesting. All right. Yeah. Unfortunately, this fish not worth that much at all. $101 for all those big guys. For this area, really, fishing is pretty bad, it feels like. Maybe nighttime's where it's at. I guess I do have these pots. I should probably grab these things as well. Uh, one thing I hope to get into today more is, uh, you know, actual crab potting, because I feel like this could be very lucrative if we do upgrade it a little bit. So hopefully we can get some research for that, because uh, these basic pots don't give you much, but hey, they at least are passive income. Oh, no, no, no. I'm at a dead end. I'm at a freaking dead end, and this thing's following me. I'm supposed to be killing you right now. Oh, God. Oh, it's got special attacks with vine whips. <laughs> Good thing I got a fast boat. Oh, whoa, those things blow up. Oh, I don't like this place. Oh my god, I did not realize that. I bumped into a bunch of them and they didn't blow up. Is it because I'm losing my mind? It's pro- Oh my god, what the hell is going on? I am seriously losing my mind. Ah! Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Is he still following me? You crazy bastard. Is this me losing my mind or is this you doing this? Oh my god. Okay. Um, I am stuck in this damn place now. I just wanted a catfish. Holy, that was not fun. Is this- Oh, this is it. Screw it. I don't, I don't care if you attack me. Uh, this is what I need to kill you. All right. I got it just in the nick of time. It's daytime now, and it actually vanished. Oh, my God. What an insane night. Didn't like that too much. All right. So let's head back to uh, the crashed guy, and then we're going to... Oh, oh my God. Are you serious? I, my luck is insane. Look at this inventory. The one place where my catfish was freaking breaks. Oh, I'm so angry with myself right now. All right, well, I've lost my mind. There's vines spawning everywhere. I lost the <laughs> catfish. That's the second time that's happened. You know, I, I touch a side and I lose the one important item that I need. I mean, I guess technically 
Um, maybe losing the chunk of flesh would have been more important. But yeah, I, I just, I can't get over my luck. I, I have the worst luck. What, what do you, I, I don't even know how to leave now because these vines keep going up. Can I go out here? Thank you. Oh, I can dock here? What's this little place? Oh, I can sleep. There's a campsite here too. Interesting. I see a campsite. Some old fish are suspended on a spit over a fire that was never lit. A pile of fabric gathered at the base of the large tree nearby. I want to see the fish. Uh, all right, so I couldn't get those fish. Let's check the bundle of fabric. A nest of rags lies at the base of the tree. Somebody slept here. The rags are covered in bark chips. There are symbols carved in the tree trunk above. Um, wait, what are these symbols? I guess the first set. There's a book symbol underneath a wave. And then an upwards arrow. A cloud hangs over it all. Okay, this is definitely a puzzle. I need to, like, write this down or something. All right, so book under a wave with an up arrow. Does that mean just, like, research with the books? That's all I'm getting out of it. Uh, the second set. Five unfamiliar symbols mark the corners of a pentagram. Oh, great. The shape of a person is lying down in the center. Great. This is, this is all satanic. This is, this is, this is the problem with the oceans. They're, they're, they're satanic mutants. Uh, a book symbol sits above a wave. A downwards arrow points from the book down through the wave. So there's an up arrow on the first one and a down arrow on the second one. I don't know what any of this means. There are three to six sets of symbols. I don't know what this is. I don't like this place, though, but I'm going to sleep here because I need to help with my sanity a bit. And, well, we may as well go out at night so we can hopefully catch the catfish again. Oh, my God. I just backed into a freaking beach and I damaged my hull again. All right. Well, it's going to be one of those episodes. Yes. Okay. Right at the start of the night, I freaking found one. I'm going to take all the catfish this time because my luck, I'm going to break my hull again. I already did once, as you can see, after freaking repairing it. Oh, I hate this mangrove place, man. There's just too many things to crash into, and I'm really good at doing that. Ooh! Would you look at that? A Nightwing catfish. That's cool looking. All right, well, that's all I can hold. Let's go back to the guy before I lose these fish somehow. And finally get my final bait so we can hopefully get the hell out of here. Oh, I have not enjoyed this place, man. Wouldn't be so bad if I was making lots of money, but I don't know why, but the fish are worth nothing here. Maybe I have to find some really rare fish or something. Anyways talk about the bait get the final one all right i'm not going to use the mutant one only because well i don't i don't get paid for this and i want to try and drop this on that shrine that we found and see what that does uh but we got our bait i just got to find where we drop that off now and let's also sleep till daytime only because well my sanity is getting annoying in this place so we may as well uh drive around in, in the day all right, I found it. The final one. Then hopefully these guys will stop chasing me as well. Um, load it with the bait. And let's move away. Goodbye, sir. You've been nothing but annoying for me. I hope we never see you guys again. Ah, uh, that feels good. That was not an easy quest, man. <laughs> what was that? The whole world just shook. Did that happen last time? I feel like we've awoken the mother or something. Anyways, let's... Oh, crap, crap. That's right. All right. I have enough space anyways. Perfect. Let's get out of here. All right, Airman. I'm really glad I'm done this. We still have to find the relic here. I forgot about that aspect, so hopefully now it should unlock it. How are things going? I have the corpse. There you go. His eyes fill with a sadistic delight. Now, now you can leave. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It falls away before the blade, revealing a glint of metal. Interesting. Is that... Oh, is that just research? I hope it's research. With a sickening terror, he wrests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace. Oh, it is. Okay, this is the relic that we, we need here, I'm assuming. And yes, indeed. Give me my, my shiny relic. Thank you very much. And I guess we can leave this place if we want to. But before that, we have to ask Aaron, what's he going to do now? He's been here for like 10 years trying to kill these things. I can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but this has become somewhat of a home to me. You've lost your mind, dude. You need to get out of here. There's crazy monsters here. This place is the worst place on this whole map. In the meantime, I can make some special bait for you. It ought to help with your fishing. Interesting. Can you make some bait for me? This is left over. A uh, small portion of bait. It can be used to attract the, all m manner of nearby species. So I can get species to come to me now? Toss bait overboard to attract local species. That's cool. And then I can give him fish to convert to bait whenever I want. Uh, we'll do that later, but right now I just want to sell some of this fish. Uh, and I also want to find that stone that I found that you can store things in to see if this mutant goes there. All right, I found it. Uh, let's see what happens. I mean, both of these things are purple. Oh well, yeah, I can place this here. The waves lap up to the platform where you laid the operation. As the water makes contact with it, a buzzing sound fills the air. <gasps> 
What the hell is this? The previously still water bubbles up and over, obscuring the fish. A few moments later, when the water calms, something else is on the platform. I got a freaking rod? All right, so I guess I can just throw this one in storage. So we'll do that. I mean, I'm going to take this rod if I can, and we'll install that. It's going to take five hours. Wow. All right, so let's make our way back home. Now, I always forget I have, um, I think in here somewhere. Yes, I can teleport myself back home. So let's do that. That's really convenient. Wait, what the hell? Where? Oh, I'm actually at the mansion. I thought I actually went back to the lighthouse, which is right over there anyways. But, uh, well, that was convenient because this is where I need to go to give back the new relic. So let's go talk to the mansion guy. An excellent find of man's pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table, candle wax pooling its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. Once more, he opens the book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to the spot. Knees on the verge of buckling. A trophy. Instantly harvest an entire shoal of fish. Oh my god, that's insane. And I believe that's my last upgrade. So that is good. And actually, did he give me something else to do? I'm assuming, I mean, well, we, we know where we need to go next. And that is that Devil's Spine. So that's the final place to go. Uh, I definitely do want to maybe do some other quests before that. Let's actually see what we're working with right now. I forget. Uh, but yeah, I need the rotting conger eel. I need all these rare fish. The ore fish, I remember, I think we saw that in the waterfall. So it'd be fun to go try and catch that. Because yeah, devil's spine kind of scares me. And I'd like to get maybe some upgrades before we go there. Plus, I definitely want to do some crab potting as well. So let's maybe get some research points so we can upgrade to better crab pots. And... Uh, yeah, not rush to the end of this game because that's the last area we go to. Once that's uh, done, we're pretty much done the game. And there's still a bunch of upgrades we can get for our, sh our ship, of course, as well. So, yeah, I'm going to go try and get some of those rare fish. One thing I do want to do, uh, being that we just found that random pole, I want to explore more of these small islands. There are small, unnamed islands everywhere. So I think I'm going to try and go around some of those and see if there's any more unique things like the one we just found. Uh, like, look at this already. There's something right here. Uh, and this is something I really didn't do much of in the game so far. What the hell is this? A hooded figure swathed in dark robes. Their face is barely visible. Fisherman, please help. What, 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 what do you want? Fulfill the hunger. Okay, dude wants a blue mackerel. Of all things, I think I can handle that. All right, there's your stupid little fish. We got the blue mackerel. Let's head back. All right, I have the mackerel for you. I didn't expect death to need a mackerel, but here you go, buddy. With expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish, tear out the heart. They stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously. Chill out. More, still empty. Oh, god damn it. Why didn't I... Oh, it's a tiger mackerel now. All right. Um, all right. I guess you just want all the all the mackerels. I'm kind of intrigued by this, though. All right. Let's get this mackerel. We'll get a couple of them because I don't want to go back just yet in case I crash into something. And with my luck, I'll lose it. All right, so three should be good. Uh, let's go back and put on the other pole, and we may as well sleep throughout the night now. And then we'll go in the uh, waterfall and get that ore fish or whatever it was in there. I believe it was the ore fish. All right, exciting moment. Finally getting this. We saw this on, like, what, episode two? Haven't gotten it yet. Our first, like, legit hidden creature. And done. We got... Oh, my God. <laughs> good thing I got enough room. Ore fish are no joke, I guess. Oh, all I need to do is report the ore fish location to the traveling merchant. So I guess technically I could sell this fish if I wanted to. What the hell is that? Is that a person? Am I insane? That is a person. What do you want? Oh, uh, another one. This one's got gold ropes. This hooded figure holds out a scroll. They tap the shape depicted. Okay, I need a red snapper for this one. What the hell are these guys? Oh, uh, I can't believe there's more than one of them. Now I'm on all these like weird side quests. Well, I thought the Starlight Pontoon is where the merchant was. It might be at the Rickety Pontoon. Where's the merchant? I'm trying to remember. Uh, regardless, she just wants to know the location of the oarfish, not the oarfish itself. So I think it'd be okay to sell it. I feel like it's going to rot soon. As you can see, it says it's rotting right now. Uh, so I may as well get the $100 for it. And uh, worst case, we can always go get another one if we do need to. But again, she just wants the location of it. So I should we, we should be fine. This is a new abyssal fish. I'm kind of intrigued. It looks rather large, so of course we'll try this one out. And, oh, barrel eye. Not as big as I thought. Oh, this could be a trophy one. Let's not pull it in until we get that done. We got our trophy one as well. 
All right, I got the red snapper for the orange death guy. I'm going to try and head over to him before it rots. But again, these things are everywhere. I want to just see. <gasps> ah! Whoa, 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 what the f Um, okay, okay, sorry, dude. So chill, chill. Can, can, can we work together? What the hell was that about? Okay, okay, okay. Well, I don't know what I can do with it. I'm kind of intrigued by this one as well. Uh, I don't think it wants me to interact with it, though. So, we'll, I guess we'll just leave. <gasps> Another one. Hold on. Hold on. Let's try and touch it. Is this, a, is this one a crab? What the frick is this now? A slab of rock cuts above the waves. There are four large, powerful fish shapes carved into its face and four great fissures running through the rock's base. Do you, do you want a fish? All right. Four great fish. I only... Well, I have four fish here. Um... Does it actually... Sh oh, it does show the fish. Okay, so it looks like there's a hammerhead for sure. I think it's all the all the sharks. Oh my god, there's so much I want to do now in this game. I did not realize how many little secrets like this there is. I'm kind of overwhelmed. I'm doing ten things at once right now. Here you go, buddy. I got it here somewhat fresh. Actually, it is still fresh. Perfect. Um, tear out its heart again. Okay, you guys like to eat the hearts. I understand. Um, now we need... A fang tooth. All right, well, I know where to get those, but we'll worry about that later. I'm trying to do... I think this is mackerel here, isn't it? Is this the mackerel I need? Oh, they're gone because it's friggin' nighttime. Oh, would you look at that? I found a random shipwreck. Got a research point finally, so that's good. This is right by the uh, Black Death guy. Somehow missed that when I was driving through here. So, yeah, you really gotta look around. I think Black Death's here at least. Oh, yeah, there he is over here. Let's see if that uh, is all he needs. Almost fulfilled. They point to a fish on the final scroll. What the hell is that? A snake mackerel? I've never seen a snake mackerel. Come on, man. I just wanted to see what this guy gives us. Three fish is too many. All right. Well, snake mackerel. I'm assuming that might be at the final area. I don't know. But at least we're on those quests. It stays in here. If we can't find it now, we will definitely uh, work on getting these later. All right, guys. Well, a little bit of a messy episode. That was absolutely crazy. So much happened in this episode, and it's only made me want to explore this game more because, yes, going down the main quest line is fun, and you do unlock a lot, but I feel like this game truly flourishes when you actually just start looking for things yourself. There seems to be stuff everywhere. Uh, we did see quite a bit today. I'm hoping next episode we can at least deal with those death guys. Uh, we need one more for the one and two more for the other guy. Uh, then we found all those other shrines that we got to put crabs on and everything. And I did want to get into crabbing. So there's so much I need to do in this game. I think I'm going to take a break from the main quest line. Try and do some of these sub quests. And there's still so many of these random islands that we can explore. And uh, see if there's anything else we can unlock as well. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying Dredge. I am having a fantastic time playing this. And yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.